Hello everybody, this is the second of a series of 12 videos about strategic planning in healthcare. In this video, we will talk about how to organize for successful strategic planning. this organization, we have 10 critical steps. One, identify and communicate strategic planning objectives. Two, describe and communicate the planning process. Three, define and communicate rules and responsibilities of organization leadership. Four, plan and communicate the strategic planning schedule. 5. Assemble relevant historical data. 6. Resolve not to overanalyze historical data. 7. Review past strategies and identify successes and failures. 8. Conduct strategic planning orientation meeting. 9. Prepare to stimulate new thinking. And 10. Reinforce future orientation. General strategic planning objectives as strategic planning will allow our organization to allocate scarce resources in the most effective manner possible are probably not specific enough. More specific strategic planning objectives should be established as whether to remain a freestanding entity, how to respond to decreasing reimbursement per unit of service provided, whether to or how to develop and offer an integrated continuum of care, and how to position for managed care. It's the rule of senior management to clearly define these or other objectives. For the strategic planning process, review them with board leadership, physicians, and other important stakeholders. Describing and communicating the planning process include the situation analysis, strategic direction, strategy formulation, and action planning. To define and communicate rules and responsibilities of organization leadership. Situation analysis and strategic directions are usually the responsibility of board members and executive management through the strategic committee. Participation of senior managers, physicians, and other clinicians generally increase as the process reaches its later stages of strategy formulation and action planning. It is the responsibility of senior management to determine the most suitable schedule for completion of the strategic plan and then communicate it to other members. Data profiling the past three to five years of the organization's performance and of the market in which it operates should be compiled and routinely updated. Although it can be comforting to focus on the past and dual on the known rather than the unknown. Strategic planning is primarily focused on preparing to deal with the future. There is clear value in understanding past successes and failures, but organizations should resolve to use historical data for its intended purpose of guiding future forecasts and strategies. We should review 
past strategies and identify successes and failures. A strategic planning committee is established. This committee should have its initial orientation meeting during this phase. The strategic planning committee is usually an ad hoc or standing committee of the board and therefore includes significant representation from this group. Physicians should be well represented on the strategic planning committee. This project initial session should aim to describe and discuss strategic planning objectives, review and revise the strategic planning approach and scheduling, including identification of key project meetings and other milestones, review the initial database and identify sources for any additional data required. Identify other primary market research to be conducted, including intended audiences and purpose of market research. Discuss the mechanisms for interface among the planning staff, consultants as applicable, and the organizations, including Structure of the Strategic Planning Steering Committee, staff contacts for logistical support, interaction with the board, medical staff, and other constituents, and logistical issues related to the project. Healthcare planners need to be much more thoughtful and creative about describing the future environment. Understanding implications of changing environmental conditions and considering potential strategies that enable organizations to realize their objectives. To counter the tendency to overemphasize the past and present circumstances, Organization leaders need to break with the past and consider alternative future that are very different from today's known circumstances. Injecting this kind of thinking into healthcare strategic planning will invigorate the process and lead to much more thoughtful plans and strategies. Thank you. For more videos, please visit my Facebook page, Healthcare Quality.